Hello students. So today's our topic is synthesis of tolbutamide. So tolbutamide, it is an anti-diabetic drug. It is used to treat type two diabetes. So generally, diabetes it is two types: type one and type two. So when coming to the type one diabetes, due to the immunodeficiency or autoimmune disorders, the beta cells of pancreas is they get destroyed and they are not able to synthesize any insulin. So when coming to the type two diabetes, in which the beta cells are secretes very less amounts of insulin, so that is not sufficient for the body needs. So the tol beta amide, it is the drug. It stimulates the beta cells of the pancreas and increases the production of insulin. So thereby the blood glucose levels are completely utilized by the tissues. So we can alleviate the symptoms of type two diabetes. So when coming to the synthesis of tol beta amide. The starting material is toluene and the chlorosulfuric acid. So in here, so when compared to hydroxyl group and chlorine, hydroxyl group it is a good leaving group in the form of OH minus. So the sulfur it got the positive charge. Now here the hydrogen is eliminated. So the electrons are moves back to the carbon. So the, so the electron density on the carbon get increases. So it got the negative charge. Now this electron rich carbon. It donates electrons to the electron deficient sulfur, and it forms the carbon sulfur bridge. Now the resultant molecule is okay. So what is here? So this is the molecule. This is para toluene sulfonyl chloride. Parathylene sulfonyl chloride. So this one is again treated with ammonia. So chlorine it get eliminated. Cl minus the sulfur got the positive charge. Now the amine it donates its lone pair of electrons to the sulfur. So thereby a nitrogen sulfur bond will form. So the resulting molecule is. So this is the resultant molecule, para toluene sulfonamide. Right. Now this one is again treated with ethyl chloroformate. So this is the structure. Now, compared to chlorine, this ethoxy group is a good leaving group. Now it's eliminated as C2H5O minus, and it got the COCl plus. So this carbocation it is electron deficient, and the nitrogen it donates lone pairs to the carbon. So the resulting molecule is. So this is our resultant molecule. Now this resultant product again treated with butyl amine. Now, so chlorine get eliminated. Got the positive charge. Now it donates its lone pairs to this carbonyl functional group CO, and the resultant molecule is our tolbutamide. Okay. 
so this is so this is the structure of toluene and this one is amide okay so this is the so this is toluene and this one is amide sulfonamide s double bond on h2 and c double bond on h carbonamide and this one is butyl group ch3 and ch3 uh, total four carbons butyl so tol butyl and amide so it's called tol butamide right so thanks for watching this video